Hello friends and welcome back to Do News. I'm your host, the King of Do, and I've got some more news for you today, so buckle up, strap in tight, because we've got some yummy news to go through. It is a fantastic day. There's plenty of things going on in the crypto blockchain universe today, and it's what gets me going. It's what gets me excited. Days like today where there's just so much, I don't even know what to talk about. That's how much that's how much is going on. Some days you know, I've got to dig for you guys. I've got to be like, what in the world is going on out there? But today is one of those days where you just know you're in the right place at the right time. Um, right now, Ethereum is uh, having a little bit of sell-off because of uh, a little bit of concern about scalability today from the ICO panic. And don't forget that ICOs really, in a way, drive up the price. A lot of people buy Ethereum. Um, people that are in all different types of currencies will come into Ethereum. So that they can send the Ethereum. And then when they can't get in, if people who fail to get into the ICO, they'll they'll sell off. They'll get out. So uh, we've seen it happen over and over again. It's something to be aware of. I, I would not play the game. Don't do it. We like to hold around here. Um, but don't play that game. Um, but just be aware of that happens. But right now we've uh, got Ethereum uh, trailing down close to 10% down over the 24 hour mark i just checked it in between uh, my last video and this one so uh just be careful um out there and don't get too crazy or concerned about it quite yet um i was expecting personally for a target of uh, uh point uh one two five bitcoin uh that was my personal target um for trying to get in that would be the super ideal uh based on the technical analysis um, but that is only on a technical analysis with, analysis with a bullish bias. So do not listen to me whatsoever. If uh, And you should never listen to me. You guys should never be listening to the King of Do because he does not do the do. He does not uh, know what he's talking about. Uh, you know, he, t he tries his best when it comes to technical analysis. Um, I, I study it. I've been learning a lot of it. I practice a lot of it. It has helped me tremendously make some very wise entry points and exit points that feel really good. You feel good. You feel like this stuff works, but I can tell you it doesn't always work. Um, you know, you can never predict the markets 100% of the time, but we're, what I'm trying to do is often look for indicators. And um, so if you're bullish Ethereum, maybe, be, maybe, maybe pick up just one more. Maybe just one. I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, um, let's get to the news. Open Bazaar, I've got it up on my screen. If you haven't heard of Open Bazaar, you can go here and you basically have an eBay or an SD type of website of sorts, and you are essentially um, just buying and selling things uh, in, in exchange for cryptocurrency. Now, they've added Shapeshift, and that's why it's in the news. That's why it's a big deal. Now you can actually spend your Ether. That's exciting. Uh, maybe you got in on an ICO and made a bunch of money. Now you can actually come here and spend it straight up in this nice little community. Uh, there's no marketplace fees. Um, and uh, maybe you have something you want to sell. Why not get some cryptocurrency for it? Try it out. Uh, just go ahead and post. Um, it'd be pretty cool for you to do. Um, and I'd love to hear about it. If you've ever bought anything or sold anything on Open Bazaar, please, I'm begging you, leave a comment because I'm fascinated by it. I'm an e-commerce guy to the core. It's what I do professionally. And so please let me know about it because that's what gets me super excited um, is seeing that type of uh, transaction happen in this type of space. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, Forbes. Forbes in the news again. Forbes is just all up in our space, aren't they? Isn't there just so much money being made they just kind of have to? It's almost an obligation that they start uh, talking about this space more. But Forbes is basically telling their readers to buy Bitcoin and telling them how. Not even a joke, guys. Um, let me see. Let's see. I can bring it up. Here's the actual article titled, How to Buy Bitcoin Now That It's Reached an All-Time High. So, like, they're literally saying, even though Bitcoin is at an all-time high... You should probably buy Bitcoin. That is a very strong statement by a very influential publication. Guys, I'm not a fan of this in a way just because there's, you know, we're talking about 
Uh, lemmings. Lemmings are scary. That's when the bubble truly begins, and that's when we will eventually burst. Um, I would like to see all our space build up at least another year. At least one more year. It's going so fast, guys, I don't think it's going to last a year. <laughs> we'll see. But I'd like to see our space get some strong support for one more year because this truly could go to the, past the moon and all the way to Mars. You know, I'm not aiming for the moon, guys. I'm aiming for Mars. So, um, it, you know, if you're aiming for Mars, too, you're going to want this bubble to um, wait. You know, you know you're in trouble when Grandma has uh, shifted her her stock portfolio over to some cryptocurrencies, guys. Oh, and I really hope she didn't read Forbes while she was getting her hair did. Scary stuff. Okay. <laughs> so that's in the news. I thought you guys might find that interesting. Someone as big as Forbes uh, talking about buying the Bitcoin. Uh, moving on. Uh, the Dash. The wonderful Dash. Um, the digital cash. Dash coin. I'll bring it up for you guys. Um, here on Coin Market Cap. Down quite a bit right now. Uh, a lot of a lot of things going down right now, but I know Bitcoin's getting pumped, and I'll get to that in a second as to why Bitcoin is on a tear right now. But Dash just down a little bit, about fifteen dollars USD at this moment from the two hundred dollar mark, which is good and healthy. Uh, Dash needs to have a nice little pullback. Be looking for a good solid entry point soon on Dash if you're bullish on Dash. Uh, their campaign, the Amanda B. Johnson campaign was a wild success. Um, she was talking about it on a recent uh, interview, and um, basically she ran out of budget like almost in immediately uh, for what she originally thought she would need. Um, so basically there was a campaign where it was like, hey, take a picture with your buddy, show us that you signed up for a Dash wallet, and we'll send you both like 10 bucks in Dash. Um, and uh, super cool, right? Um, a lot of people signed up. A lot of people talked about it. I actually talked one girl into it at work. Um, hi, Sarah, if you're watching. I don't think she watches this. If she does, um, Sarah, if, if you're watching this, um, I will buy you lunch straight up. But you have to literally uh, tell me what I talked about in this video because... I know somebody at work is probably listening at this point, and uh, you can't cheat and just go tell her that she's getting a free lunch on me. So this one's for you, Sarah. But um, she agreed to uh, do the Dash campaign with me, but we never got together and did it. Um, you know, we we just we were gonna do it after work, but when work's over, you know, it's hard to catch people out the door and things like that. But anyhow, Dash campaign was cool, and. Um, the crazy thing that Amanda said that I found really fascinating, and it kind of got me thinking deeply about the cryptosphere, and that is a lot of people, <laughs> pretty regularly, when they were when they were tweeting about it or sharing it on Facebook, in order to get their ten dollars, they continued to say that they had Bitcoin or they were getting some Bitcoin. So think about that, guys. Uh, there's this huge campaign to go and download the Dash wallet. And at the end of the day, people were using the Jack... Uh, well, they were using Jack's, essentially, the Jack's wallet to get Dash and set up their first, you know. But it's essentially, people were showing on the, on the, on the video, uh, in the picture, they're showing their Bitcoin address. Um, and they're showing their, their Bitcoin wallet. And... Um, I just found it fascinating. I mean, it's cool because we got some new people to become aware of this space. But at the same time, Bitcoin is still the king to the point where the normal person has heard of it. They don't have any clue. They have no clue what it actually is. They under they, the, the, they believe it's some type of fake money. And some people who are a little forward-thinking are like, well, yeah, it's okay to have some fake money. I mean, our money's fake. So, you know, if a bunch of people want to rally around some money, uh, and, you know, in some other country, that's swell. They can do that. So we still have such a long ways to go when it comes to uh, a digital currency. 
there is going to only be just probably a couple, if not one winner. One winner. The more I think about it, the more I'm starting to understand, guys, you may... If you're gonna hold, if you're gonna diversify in some cryptocurrencies, you probably should only diversify in the ones that are already leading the charge, because the chances of one coming out of nowhere and winning it all is becoming slimmer by the day. Um, because even some, even some bigger ones like Dash, still can't make that divide between them and Bitcoin. So think about that when you're diversifying. I think that all of us. Oh, ESPN update. I apologize. Um, even though um, Bitcoin is uh, losing its ground, it's still in the minds of the everyday person. It is still the king. We have so much further to go, guys, when it comes to money. Now, for me, that's actually why I am extremely interested um, more on the business application side of blockchain. Um, even, even you know, I've, I had some people call me out you know, on my last video, uh, a couple video go, a couple videos ago, about me being, you know, um, me being a fan of some of these centralized blockchains, and um, you know, and being and being called a money grabber and things like that. And um, I will be, I'll be transparent. Um, you know, I would like to uh, make some wealth from investing in this space. Um, I think that most people do. Uh, we we kind of deserve it for being here first, for investing financially um, in things that we believe in. And when those things pan out and become bigger than they are today, a return, a reward for the people, the early adopters and the innovators. Uh, I believe that. That is that isn't. Um, you know, that's no nothing new in any country or new any new idea. Um, however, I'm a huge fan of decentralizing um, in general uh, in, in a lot of different spaces. Uh, I'm a huge fan of it in business. I believe that everyone will be having some type of side gig in a decentralized organization in the next 10 years. Um, I'm a, I am praying for a decentralized education system. I have yet to see a blockchain about that. Please leave a comment below um, about that. Um, and maybe you're interested in starting one. I would support you to the moon. Um, so please, if you guys are uh, have any information on a decentralized education system, because Lord knows ours is completely a wreck, and it needs to be disrupted, and this space can disrupt it big time. So decentralization in certain aspects, actually all aspects, uh, you know, no matter if it's you know talking about government or whatever. I mean, there's it has so many pros, but I also understand there 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 will never truly be any complete eradication of um, things that are centralized. It's just not going to happen. Every single company, in corp anything incorporated, any corporation, any business is centralized. Um, so and, and and I just I don't I don't see anything wrong with it, you know. There, uh, other than there are companies that do things the wrong way, but um, in a decentralized world, there will still be people doing it the wrong way. Uh, a decentralized terrorist organization does that not ever cross anyone's mind? I don't know. Um, so. There's good, there's bad in the world, and no matter what your viewpoint or what you truly believe to the core, um, it's never it's never gonna go away. There is no uh, utopia that will exist. Uh, humans are flawed by nature, and so that's just my take on it. So um, I'm willing to take the criticism on uh, not being like 100% pure decentralization to the core, and I hope I've been transparent with you on uh, what I truly believe. Um, and feel free to start a conversation below in the comments or ask questions about about it or maybe say what you really believe in. Um, you know, it's very it's uh, very fascinating to me. There's so many different versions in people's minds of what decentralization is. Um, so, but all that being said, if there is going to be a decentralized currency, there is likely to only be one that finally wins the game. That one will be worth so much more than it is now.
more than double, more than 10, more than 100 times. Don't know if it will happen in a year or in our lifetimes, let's be honest. But um, if there truly is one winner, it's like, you know, one world currency, essentially, is what we're talking about, guys. I mean, you take the value of all the currencies around the world, you mesh that together and try to figure out what that's going to be worth. Man, owning just a teeny tiny piece of it now uh, would bode well for you and your family and for generations to come. So I don't know which one's going to win, but um, if... Uh, one thing that I always encourage is just, you know, when you're not sure which one to do, just diversify, own a little of each, because because that one that makes it will be worth so much. It'll just be worth so much. Who cares if the other ones go to zero? So just think of it like that. Invest wisely, guys. Play for the long term. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Okay. Okay. Moving on, because there's so much beautiful news, and we're already 15 minutes into it. Um, we have the ant share schedule, uh, which is pretty exciting. Um, let me see if I can pull that up for you guys. I'm looking for it here. Um, you know, actually, I'm going to skip it because it's kind of long, and maybe I'll do another video on it since I'll have an extra day on the 22nd. Is the uh, big ant shares. Uh, meeting that everyone's excited about and why the price has been popping. So uh, we'll have to keep a close eye on ant shares leading up to that. Um, and the 22nd is coming up really, really soon if you're on the other side of the world. So uh, stay tuned very soon. Uh, we'll go over that. Um, we'll go over... Um, we're going to go over that. Ah, Yes. Um, so, Sony's Felicia technology is behind many of the most popular contactless NFC smart cards. It's already the de facto standard in Japan for commuter travel payments. Felicia is being used at the point of sale, railway, and air ticketing, as well as university ID cards, to name a few. It was recently announced that Bitcoin has been successfully integrated with Felicia technology, plans have been announced for each contactless smart card to include a Bitcoin wallet that holds a private key on the card. Holy crap. Guys, that's big news. It's really big news coming from the side of the world where they live and breathe um, this digital currency stuff. Um, super, super excited. But not the reason Bitcoin's out of control. Do you guys really want to know? Guys, India. India is going to be legalizing Bitcoin. They have gone a complete 180 from never wanting to do anything with it whatsoever and disregard it to legalizing it. Guys, this is huge. This is so huge um, especially for an emerging economy like India incredible incredible news um, I'll read a, a, a quick statement here on June 20th CNBC India announced that Indian government committee has ruled in favor of regulating Bitcoin and is currently establishing a task force to create various regulatory frameworks with the aim of fully legalizing bitcoin in the short term soon guys this is why bitcoin is up right now this is what's pushing it so keep that in mind guys like this is this is kind of crazy we've been expecting um something like this for a while and be expecting more be expecting more and more countries to come on board and continue to expect the United States as a whole to drag its feet, to push it away, to say that it, you know, they're going to continue to push away. Because why? Because the dollar is the king in the world right now. It just is. So why would they want to give in to anything else that is any type of threat? No, no other currency is like coming around like threatening the dollar. No one, no, you know, 
It's not like the the yen just just waltzing around making threats. This entire space is threatening all currencies and openly and vocally doing it, right? So we're going to continue to see uh, the United States push against it. But, you know, what's fascinating is we already have states. There are states that are trying their hardest to legalize it as soon as possible so that we never have to reverse course, right? Um, so that if, if the states come first, then they'll, they'll have no choice is the hope but we'll have to wait and see we'll have to wait and see i hope i hope it's just a, a sweeping uh yes a sweeping uh let's legalize this in the united states but my my hope factor out of 10 is somewhere around a one and uh it's definitely making it intriguing to uh consider where I might want to retire someday, right? Um, just because I truly believe in this stuff for for the long term. Um, so I believe that when it's time to retire, I might need to uh, discover some faraway places. All right, so Peach Airlines I've talked about Peach Airlines. You guys know that they're going to be accepting Bitcoin on their planes. Well, they're actually going to start accepting Bitcoin straight up for an airline ticket. You now can enjoy the skies with your Bitcoin. Beginning to end. It's kind of exciting. Super exciting. You kind of technically can already if you have a BitPay card. If you don't know what a BitPay card is, go ahead and Google that and check it out on your own time. But essentially, you can load your card with Bitcoin, and it's a Visa, and you just pay for things. So it's not like you can already. Um, but just something to keep in mind. So that's really exciting. Bitcoin uh, taking off like a rocket, uh, really take, trying to gain back some of its dominance here, and rightfully so. I think that it's rightly deserved today. This is big, big news. Um, so, and that's pretty much it, guys. I have one last thing. I want to say thank you to Steemit uh, Whales of some sort. As you guys know, my wife started uh, her first blog um, on Steemit. Um, and I don't know what happened, but someone came along and rewarded her like you wouldn't believe she can't believe it she doesn't even have any weight so she, her rewards aren't as big as they would be if you know she had a, a lot more reputation and steam built up um wow what a blessing um that person proceeded to upvote all of my things too and my entire family today is unbelievably grateful we want to thank you. I don't know who you are out there. Um, I might be able to go figure it out by looking at the blockchain, but um, the anonymous giver at this point, just the, by far the biggest uh, donation slash Steam upvote slash uh, gift, whatever you want to call it, we were blown away. We didn't even know what to do um, other than get so excited about that platform. Steam is incredible. I can't believe the value that's coming back to me through that platform, the, the the actual wealth that's starting to be created for me and my family because of that platform. And um, I got to tell you guys, if you're not on Steemit, I don't know what you're doing. You are, you you have to be on Steemit. Go sign up right now. Uh, it is an amazing platform. If you enjoy news uh, like this, there is plenty of it there for you. Um, I, I find a lot of information there first before I find it anywhere else, before I find it on a Reddit or deep on a, uh, Bitcoin talk, you know, forum or, you know, it, some of the smartest, most amazing, innovative people in the world are on that platform and you need to get over there right now and enjoy it. And then you need to upvote because you actually earn cryptocurrency. You actually earn, you actually make, you create actually it's not just earning it's it's creating value 
and you get rewarded for that. So go check it out. And again, thank you to the anonymous do donator. Um, I want to say thank you. To, uh, there were some other anonymous donations. I had uh, some fantastic ones. Um, I don't like to say what it was or who it was and things like that without permission. Um, you know, or unless you did it publicly or something like that. Uh, but, but there's some special people out there who have actually been sending me donation after donation. Um, I don't even know what to say. <clears throat> I don't even know what to say, guys. And I really appreciate it so, so much. So that's it for this episode. I uh, busted out two tonight, and it's getting late. And I actually still have to post the first one. Um, so I'll be posting these pretty much back to back. So get excited about that. Um, you can never get enough new news, am I right? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys stopping by, spending time with me. As always, please subscribe if you enjoy this. Um, go over to Steam it. Make sure you sign up. And make sure you upvote my video. You will literally get rewarded as well um, just for doing that. Um, and it's a fantastic thing to do. Um also, uh, like the video, and as always, leave comments down below. Uh, help. Uh, we do have goals. We're trying to get now to 300 followers on Steemit, and we are also uh, trying to uh, hit the 2,000 mark uh, this weekend, actually, and we're right on pace. So please share with your friends. Definitely share. Uh, you know, be like, hey, you should check this out. I thought this, you know, this was interesting. Share it with a friend. And... Um, also, on Steam, it, make sure you re-Steam. Make sure you click the re-Steam button. Pro tip, guys. Pro tip. The whole, like, when you re-Steam something, you actually are presenting it to more people. So if you upvote something, and then you re-Steam it, you actually increase the likelihood of it being seen, being upvoted more, and thus, you, thus rewarding everyone involved even more right pro tip re-steam all right guys that's it for me i really enjoyed uh the, today in the crypto world um and blockchain technology world it is some fascinating news going on out there right now and i really enjoyed bringing it to you guys i hope you enjoyed it too and that's it from me i am the king of dew and as always may the force be with you <laughs>